So I'm not sure how many of you have followed this story over the weekend, but the Arizona Democratic Party voted to censure Kirsten Cinema, which is embarrassing, albeit definitely warranted. To have your own party censure you, you have to really mess up, and that she did indeed do. I'd argue that giving democracy in the United States its final death blow certainly warrants, at a minimum, you being censured. Uh, but there were some individuals who took issue with her being censured. Of course, I'm talking about Chuck Todd here. But before we get to him, I want to share some details about her being censured. So as Brett Wilkins of Common Dreams explains, citing her failure to do whatever it takes to ensure the health of our democracy, the Arizona Democratic Party Central Committee on Saturday voted to formally censure cinema. The ADP rebuke came after the right-wing Democrat voted last week, along with all Republicans and Senator Joe Manchin, to uphold the filibuster and effectively torpedo her own party's popular voting rights legislation, the Freedom to Vote John R. Lewis Act. So, yeah, that's warranted. Um, she's not doing what she needs to do, which is use this time to protect democracy from an anti-democratic party, and that's small d democracy, who is trying to kill democracy. I mean, the Democratic Party has just a limited window of opportunity to act, to pass something, to protect our democratic institutions, and she's saying no. So yeah, I think that that warrants her being censured. But Chuck Todd, for whatever reason, implied that this was actually a bad thing. And in an interview with Democratic Representative Alyssa Slotkin, he explained that this might actually be not very good, basically because uh, Kirsten Sinema's fifis would be hurt. Now, I'm oversimplifying what he's saying, not necessarily what he said. I'm being a little bit harsh here in my characterization. Uh, but just take a look at what he has to say. The way that he framed this really pissed me off. What's happening to Senator Sinema, is, is this healthy for the party, having a state party, her own state party, censure her? Like I said, most people will look at what they're censuring her over is over a disagreement on tactics. Not on the issue. Yeah, I, I don't. I just just don't come from a school where you're constantly airing dirty laundry. Like mm -hmm. there are really big divisions in Washington right now. Period. Democrat, Republican within each party. Um, but I just don't believe that the way that you get back at other people is by putting that on air, airing that publicly. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't love that. Now, we're not going to play the rest of her response there because it was pointless. She says the same thing, albeit in a different way. Uh, that liberal weakness there, by the way, that is what fascists exploit. If you're not decisive, if you're not doing everything you can to protect democracy itself, then they are going to prey on that. So that weakness right there, I mean, you're part of the problem. Alyssa, you are part of the problem. Uh, but Chuck Todd ultimately is who I take issue with here because he's giving Kirsten Sinema cover for no reason. I, like, why are you doing this? You don't have to do this. You don't have to defend her. Are you anti-democracy, Chuck Todd? What What is the point of this? You don't have to do this. But his issue is that, um, you know, it's a disagreement about tactics, not on the issue itself. And is it really okay to censure someone if you disagree on policy? This was kind of the point I think that Alyssa made throughout it. But the answer is... This is not like other issues. There are some issues that are so important that they supersede every other issue, right? Climate change, for example, and the future of our planet and whether or not it's habitable. Definitely more important, more salient than anything else. Democracy, having the ability to actually affect change in our country, at least by electing people, that is one of these things that supersedes other issues. There are some issues that are so important, they're not like other mundane policy debates, which they're not having in D.C., to be clear. But because Chuck Todd is naive, he actually believes that Kirsten Sinema supports voting rights. He thinks that she's actually just really principled and doesn't want to make any changes to the filibuster. Okay, well, why did she just agree to change the filibuster, create a carve-out to the filibuster to raise the debt ceiling? Any explanation there, Chuck Todd? Or are you just doing propaganda for Kirsten Cinema for no reason whatsoever because you want to, because nobody else is? I just, I, I don't understand it. Now, he asked the same question to Bernie Sanders, but thankfully, Bernie Sanders answered in a more reasonable way and explained what is at stake here. You think, though, it's been healthy for the Democratic Party to highlight the division in the party? You know, you look at Senator Cinema, she was, she was censured by the Arizona Democratic Party over what some will look at as a disagreement over tactics, not over substance, but over tactics. Do you no. think that was an appropriate action? Yeah, I do. I think it's exactly right. Look, on that issue of voting rights, this is something that's almost different than anything else. Uh, what that is, is that right now you have a Republican Party under Trump's leadership 
that is perpetuating this big lie that Trump actually won the election. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you have 19 Republican states that are moving very aggressively into voter suppression, into extreme gerrymandering. Some of these states are doing away with the powers of independent election officials. Uh, They are moving in a very, very anti-democratic way. And it was absolutely imperative that we change the rules so that we could pass strong voting rights legislation. All Republicans voted against us. Two Democrats voted against us. That was a terrible, terrible vote. And I think what the Arizona Democratic Party did was exactly right. I mean, Bernie Sanders was absolutely correct there. Voting rights, this is something that is more important than other issues. And when democracy is quite literally at stake, we shouldn't have to beg members of the media to take that seriously. They should just instinctively know that if we live in an authoritarian society, if we devolve further into a liberal democracy and then subsequently authoritarianism, then they're threatened too. There will be crackdowns of freedom of the press in the same way that there are crackdowns on voting rights. So this is even like an issue of your own self-interest. You want to preserve democracy if you're a member of the press. But he's so dense, he, he just doesn't get it. And Bernie Sanders explains why this is important. Because democracy is something that once you undo, you can't get that back. I mean, you can't put the cat back in the bag. And let's keep things into perspective here. Because of the House January 6th Select Committee, we're finding out just how craven Donald Trump was in 2020. So we're finding out that he considered using the military to seize voting machines. We're finding out about them wanting to send fake electors to the Electoral College to override the popular votes in each state that they wanted to to win over. It's truly astounding. I mean, we have a small window of opportunity to act. And when I say we, I mean elected Democrats. It's on them currently. And if they don't do the bare minimum and try to get voting rights through just to protect against the worst of what Donald Trump and Republicans have to offer when he inevitably reclaims the White House in 2024, he's polling far ahead of other Republicans. So if you don't do the bare minimum to preserve voting rights, to preserve democracy itself, then you are complicit in the decline of democracy. But for whatever reason, Chuck Todd doesn't like that people are a little bit mean to Kirsten Sinema as she kills democracy because, well... I don't know, civility, because maybe her fifis will be hurt. Fuck her feelings. I care about democracy. I care more about democracy than Kirsten Sinema's feelings. And you should too, Chuck. You should care more about democracy than Kirsten Sinema's feelings. You should care more about the United States devolving into a literal dictatorship when Trump likely retakes power in a couple of years than Kirsten Sinema's feelings. What are you doing? What is the point of you? Why are you in the media? The media is supposed to challenge people in power, and you have one of two Democrats senators obstructing a very important voting rights bill and you're defending them are you just anti-democracy are you pro-authoritarian chuck i mean you don't have to necessarily say it but that's your position currently that's your de facto position if you're defending the individuals who are giving democracy our last death blow you are siding with the authoritarian republicans so if it ever comes the case god forbid where we devolve further into authoritarianism and we start to see restrictions on freedom of the press that you can't can't criticize Donald Trump, you've been warned. You could have used your role as a member of the media, your platform to maybe warn Americans to take this more seriously, put pressure on people in power, but you didn't. So don't cry if Trump gets reelected and he starts putting more pressure on the press. Don't cry when Republicans become more authoritarian. Because in this moment now, when we have a limited amount of time to act, you're siding with the people who are killing democracy. So good job. I hope that you feel like you're a good journalist. What a fucking moron Chuck Todd is. Holy shit. People in D.C., their brains are thoroughly, thoroughly rotted. And Chuck Todd is a prime example of that. Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching, so I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.